Yeah. So there's a hundred dollar fish. That is a hundred dollar fish. Is my rod tip out there? Yeah, it is. We'll go get my rod tip. I broke my rod in half. Okuma Avion rod. Wasn't that tight in the downrigger. She just broke. Kokanee fishermen are always zigzagging. So now I'm going to zigzag and I'm going to go across the lake that way. And I'll zigzag and come back at the entrance. I'm speeding up so the boat's turning. If you look behind us at our wake, see that we're turning now. So that's going to speed up. So it's going to be tight until we go straight. And then it'll slow up, slow down a bit. And any fish that's, that's chasing it, It'll it'll speed up and slow down. That'll that'll help trigger that that bite. And if we know that there's a fish at 30 feet, we can drop the downrigger to 30 feet, go fish at 30 feet for a bit, then crank it up five feet. When I play with the downrigger depth, sometimes those fish will follow the lure up and hit that as well. So there's all sorts of different things that could happen. Oh, look at this school, Marcus! Huge. Should get one now. This is right about where we got them before. So what we'll even do, I'm going 1.7, I'm gonna slow us down a bit more. And we're gonna come through that school a little bit slower and then I'll speed up through the school. So we know we're 60 feet back, so we gotta wait until we think we've gone 60 feet past where we marked that school. So pretty soon here, we're gonna be hitting that school. So now you can let go of the rod that's going to be a lot smoother with the electric. And so we think uh, right about now, would you say we're about 60 feet back? <clears throat> From what we're 60 feet ahead of that school, so we're going to speed up a little bit, just a little bit. If they're following it, sometimes you trigger a hit. Nothing. So now we're going to turn, which will speed up again. I slowed down, and we're going to turn. And if that school is an active school of fish, they will chase it, follow it, and hit it on the turn. So I'm going to turn really drastically here, speed it up. Slow it down, and I'm just con I'm going to constantly do that. Just to play with them. Without the fish finder, kokanee fishing would be really hard. Because you wouldn't know if you're going over a school fish, right? So. The... You'd be guessing. That was a big school. So, if we haven't got a hit and we think they might still be following it, this is what I'll do. I'll go up five feet. Get the 
tension on it right away, and then if there's a fish following it, it'll usually slam it. nothing there. So now I'm going to go back down to 25. So now, so I, I just try and adjust something, try and change something that might get him to bite. Okay, so nothing. So now. now I'll go over those fish. You can crank that down just a little bit more. One turn. Good. So if we're fishing close to the boat, say we're 30 feet back with our line, we can do quicker turns. We can turn around and go back through that school. So we know there's a good school there. So we're just going to turn around and go through them and give them our presentation one more time. If they don't like it, I'm going to change. We had a one hit on the orange, but you also had one on the pink, so it doesn't matter. But I'll change the setup and see if we can get them to bite. And then if we don't get a hit on that school, we can also change the lure to have a different type of action. So we have a different type of lure that we can put out there too. Just constantly trying to figure out what the fish wants. There's another good school right here. I'll start my turn. We'll slow the rod down just a little bit. Marking one more fish. So they're in here. Fish are hanging out in here. From that storm yesterday, all that wind, it, it pushed them in here and they're feeding in here right now. They'll be, they'll be out here as well. There's another one, see? That's a huge school too. That's a whole bunch of fish doing this together. So that is a lot of fish right there. So we'll keep it at this speed because they seem to like that speed earlier. Maybe they like it fast. 1.5. Some guys actually like kokanee fishing at 1.8. So we'll, we'll speed it up just to 1.8. Nothing. We'll slow it down. And then we'll just constantly do that as we go through. Sometimes you even shut your put your motor in neutral like right now slow right down to 1.2 get ready for a hit then I'll speed up I don't know I wasn't watching well I, I, I put it in neutral try that again I'll put it in neutral Slowing it down, we'll speed it up again. And if they're following it, it's going to have that reaction. Is he still on this time? Yep.